Well, if you're trying to eat healthy, and who isn't, right, but you don't want to give up taste, then our next guest will, well, she has exactly what you're looking for because she's all delicious over Delicious stuff is really just the name I'm of the game. You. We could just say Chef Laura's here so you know it's going to be delicious, and that would be enough introduction. <laughs> Why, thank you very much. You're welcome. Huge fan, of course, of Chef Laura Slama, Slama from Celebrated Cuisine, and we're going to have your tongues wagging as she's prepared some really light and healthy th dishes. So... Um, Let's get started. What are we doing here? Okay, well, I, I'll tell you what. The whole thing started because I put it on Facebook. What do some, you know, what do people want to see? What do they want to learn? And, and I you heard, read my post. Did I read your post? Perhaps. I did. And I read <laughs> lots of posts, and they all said healthy side dishes, healthy side dishes. So healthy and easy. Healthy, easy. <laughs> very few ingredients. Everything you see on this counter right now is what we're using for three different dishes. Okay? Oh, really? Yes. Oh, and wow. they're all really flavorful, and they could be just full vegetarian main courses if you want, in some regard, or wonderful side dishes as well. Okay. And you can supplement any of these with proteins too. So the first dish we're going to do today is a spaghetti squash with a, a, a roasted tomato, fire roasted tomato marinara if you will. Okay mm. so we're going to do that with some garbanzo beans so we get a little bit of protein in there as well because one of the biggest challenges if you are vegetarian is finding good protein sources. I was posed the question earlier about spaghetti squash being high or low in carbohydrates. So I did a little research and a cup of spaghetti squash also gives you, only gives you 10 grams of carbohydrates. Is that what you were doing on your phone a couple seconds ago? Yeah. <laughs> Because the question was just posed yes, 20 just seconds posed, ago. Just <laughs> okay, it to me that's the last how we roll here. That's how much you <laughs> are. You know, I want to make sure I'm prepared. But here's the cool thing. Only 10 grams of carbohydrate, very low in sugar, high in fiber, only 42 calories in a cup. Oh. Okay, so, and it takes the place of spaghetti. So I want to show you how you get this thing going. So what you do is you want to cut this in half lengthways like I did. With a if, sharp knife. With a very sharp knife. And if you're afraid of doing that, ask the produce guy at the grocery store to do it for you. They're hard really? to cut. Well, what you can do is put it in a microwave for about 15 seconds and it'll help to soften the outer shell. I didn't know that. So, and Good that's tip. what I'm here for. So. Good tip. <laughs> I like that because they're so hard. I try and then it rolls all over the place. And, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And you really want to carry your machete to make it happen. Yeah, so. absolutely. So then just take a spoon and what you do is you just start to scrape the seeds right out of this into the garbage, okay? And once we do that, so I'm going to let, uh, Terry, you, you take that? a little job you and you're going to go right into that bowl. Okay. Um, when she's done doing that, what we're going to do is wrap it in a little bit of plastic wrap and encase it completely, and then we're going to put it in the microwave. And this will only take about nine minutes to cook in the microwave. You don't have to add any water. You can do it in the oven, but it takes about 45. I've been doing it wrong, Laura, because I've been doing, like, flipping it upside down in a in A, a little bit of water? A little bit of yeah, water in the I've microwave. I've done that, too. I've done that, too. Why well, is it better to do it that way? Like, let me show way? you. So what happens basically is there's enough water in the vegetable itself to create that steam factor that we're looking for. So because this is fully encased in plastic, it does the cooking all in and of itself. Oh. It's all fully encompassed, okay? How they do. That is absolutely gorgeous. So this is what I was talking about. You just take it, put it on, you know, inside your industrial size uh, plastic wrap. Right. Which we all have. Which you all have at home. But you can buy it at any of the big box stores, just like this. And then this goes face down in the microwave, face just down. like that. Okay. Cut side down, about nine minutes. If it's super big, you can give it about 10 or 11. Okay. 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 When, you, when it's done, the way you know, okay, is first of all, see how this is very malleable? Well, okay. Yeah. And it will also, you'll be able to feel through the plastic oh, the separation mushy. of the strands. Mushy, mushy. So what we do then is, I'll get this out of the way, we take off the plastic. You want to let it sit for a little bit by itself, because if you don't, you're going to have, uh, well, if you don't have asbestos fingers, you're going to get them, okay? So. <laughs> All right, so now if you take a look at this, I'll grab another bowl and a fork. And have I'll you grab used this, this before, towel. Terry? Yes, I have, yeah, and I love it is I just take my fork now. See how this all breaks apart? Yeah. So I have these wonderful strands for doing this. So now I'm going to hand this to you, use the towel underneath. I'm going to have you put all the strands. You're going to get all the way down to the shell. Okay. While you're doing that, I'm going to start up my sauce, okay? So what I'm going to do is heat up my pan a little bit first, and then once my pan is hot, which will only take a few seconds, I'm going to add a tiny little bit of olive oil, just enough that I'm going to be able to cook some garlic and some thyme and some oregano. And I'm going to use dried thyme and dried oregano. While well, you're adding those ingredients, let me ask you this too, because um, we had somebody come on recently that was talking about avocado oil, and I know you're like mm -hmm. a she, mm -hmm. health nut yep. and health buff. Avocado so, oil, delicious. Uh, but could, would that change the, the flavor? Anytime you this. change up your oils, you're going to change the flavor. So one of the things I always advise my clients, my cooking students, whatever the case is, is that you can't automatically just reach for olive oil whenever you're cooking anything. Okay. Because we've been, we've been told over and over it's the healthiest oil we're supposed to use it. One, there are other 
healthy oils out there to use. Two, every oil is going to impart a specific flavor. Okay, so, so that would kind of mess things up a little, or yeah. would it work? Well, um, you could use it for this dish, but it's going to change the, complex, the, the flavor complexity the flavor. a little okay. bit. So I will use avocado oil. You can use it to cook with, but I like using it as a finishing oil, like in salad dressings gotcha. and things like that. Okay. Same thing if you look at grapeseed oil, if you look right, at right, right. peanut oil, they're going to impart the flavor of whatever it is that they're... So they're probably better served in dishes that would, you know, if, if you're going to, if you would want to add an avocado to it, and exactly. it would taste good, exactly. that might be a good substitute. I, uh, I should mention too, just, just in case the next time people see this shot, Terry stepped away because um, I'm going to let you kind of bring this up to, what, a, a simmer? A little simmer, yep. So all I did was I cooked off the oregano and the thyme with the garlic. I added my fire roasted diced tomatoes, juice and all, and then this is going to come to a simmer and we're just going to add our garbanzo beans, aka our chickpeas to this, and let that cook for about 10 minutes. And then when we're done, all we do is toss this with our spaghetti squash, which we'll do a little bit more of in the next segment, and we'll be able to plate that and have that as a okay. as so one we'll of our dishes. So we'll plate up. I'll let this because you know this I has to simmer. To try it. I know. <laughs> don't worry. You'll be trying it right as well. There's plenty to try today. <laughs> so, like I said, Terry stepped away because um, Terry is going to hit up a really cool. So you have an iPhone, right? Yep. No, you have a Droid. I have a Droid. Okay, we need I iPhones do. because we can be safer with an iPhone. Terry's going to tell us why. I'll go about safety yeah. first. <laughs> well, you guys are going to love this. Okay, you know ASU is open for business this week, and students are having.